I thank the speaker and I thank the uh, chairman of the committee uh, for the time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, in our Bill of Rights, uh, there are a lot of rights listed. In the first amendment of the Bill of Rights, there are five rights that are missed, mentioned. And the first right in the First Amendment is mentioned first, in my opinion, because it's the most important right, and that is the right of religious freedom. And if you notice the word wording in that right, it protects the right to freely exercise one's religion. It's more than believe whatever you want to believe religiously. You have the right to practice your religion. Freely exercise it. Wise words from the founders and the writers of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. But now we have a situation in our country where that right is being threatened. Even this morning, the attempted terror attack should remind us that we need to be vigilant on the war on terror because people in the name of terror commit what they crimes against other Americans because they hate them, hate their religion, hate their, what they stand for. And uh, this year, more than 100 bomb threats and other threats of violence have been made against 81 Jewish community centers. A Jewish community center is, is not the synagogue, but sometimes it's close to the synagogue. It's where uh, the Jewish community, kids and adults, go for community. And there have been 100 bomb threats uh, uh, just this year, 81, 81 Jewish community centers in 33 states. Many of these centers were forced to close because of the threat that was made against them. These attacks are clearly directed at the facilities due to the relate, relate nature of the facility, the building, or the property. Despite this fact, terrorist threats against community religious centers are currently not punished as hate crimes under federal law. This uh, legislation, bipartisan of course, would amend the Church Arson Prevention Act to ensure other individuals who make bomb threats and other credible threats of violence against community religious centers based on the religious nature of that center can be prosecuted under our law as a hate crime. The bill also adds new language that would create a penalty up to five years imprisonment if a violation of the statute resu results in damage or destruction to the property. So we must make it abundantly clear that we will not tolerate acts of violence and hate against any group in America, especially religious groups. That is it's incumbent upon us as Congress to make sure that the First Amendment is protected, and that is our job to protect religious freedom. I urge support of this legislation. Thank the chairman for bringing it to the floor. And that's